Tunibu government to digitalize Abuja State House and legal offices with 10 billion naira. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we post hot juicy news update. Please click on the notification bell. The budget plan also includes 33.6 million naira for refreshment and meals for the president and 254.2 million naira for food and catering supplies. The Nigerian government under the leadership of Bola Tunumbu is projecting to spend a total sum of 10 billion naira on the digitalization of a state house and legal state offices in 2024. Details of a 2024 budget, budget proposal have shown. You know, somebody came out and was like, now wow, this government, what did Sabi do? Not to just come outside, come spend, eh, use this one, eh, renovate house, use this one, build house, the new day after anything meaningful. And to be very honest with you, it is seeming so. The news in detail, please. The project titled Full Digitalization of the Entire State House and Legal State Offices and Quarters was listed by the Office of the Chief of Staff to the President, Mr. Femi Gajabiamila, in the proposed 2024 appropriation bills. The Chief of Staff Office also earmarked $290 million for the purchase of vehicles for the Chief of Staff and also $10 billion naira for the renovation of Dordan Barracks Presidential Lodge and the renovation of Vice President Quarters in Lagos, both of which are ongoing projects. Sahar reporters earlier reported how the country's Ministry of Defense budgeted 50 billion naira for the purchase of arms and ammunition. Meanwhile, the government also budgeted 65 billion naira for the presidential amnesty program, reintegration of transformed ex militants. The Nigerian government amnesty program was designed by the government to reintegrate repentant militants into society. According to budgetary provisions, the Tenimba administration intends to spend 15 billion naira more on those projects than on firearms for security officers to combat the, ongoing in the country's ongoing insurgency. The government also budgeted the sum of 120 million naira for the renovation of military cemeteries and 290 million naira for the purchase of vehicles for the chief of staff's office. The budget proposal details also show that President Tunubu and Vice President Kashim Shetima earmarked 10.13 billion naira for meals and travel, both local and foreign trips. Tunubu will spend 638.5 million naira on local trips and 6.9 billion on foreign trips, amounting to 7.6 billion naira. While Shetima travels will go up 1.8 billion, out of which 618.4 million naira is for local journeys and 1.2 billion is for international trips. Also, feeding, titled refreshment, and meal and food store for the offices of Tunumbu and Shotima was allocated 660.5 million naira. Of this amount, 287.8 million naira is for the president's office and 372.6 million naira is for the VP's office. The budget plan also includes 33.6 million naira for refreshments and meals for the president and 254.2 million naira for food and catering supplies. The vice president plans to spend 35 million naira on refreshment and meals and 337.5 million on food and catering supplies. This is here I am asking myself. Now, do you now see that that person is actually right? Because like I said, all we have been hearing since this administration came in was that they renovate this one, then they renovate that one, then they renovate this one, then they renovate that one. Wouldn't be the problem. Then they renovate the president, the VP's house as Lagos, and and I'm asking myself, I don't understand. Is he going to be living at Lagos? So now Lagos now want to stay. Does he want to relocate to Lagos? Say one move as so villa to Lagos because 
I am not understanding. Guys, the fourth subsidy was removed to punish the masses and favor the ruling class. There is nothing else you will tell me. This is exactly what it is looking like. Because you cannot tell me that you removed the subsidy to to tell you I'm already the sufferings of Nigeria. And you are using the money like you are wasting it. It is like you are picking the money from the ground. <laughs> okay. God have mercy. Please, Mr. President, based on our economy, Nigerians are dying of hunger every day. I suggest we'll manage the ones we have and use this 10 billion naira to pay works and pensioner salaries. I come in peace. The Jagaban, he has the capacity and the capability. Let us sing his praises. He's giving Nigerians what they want. Could it be that he's just trying to surprise us by doing this thing with his own money? At, l at least, since I understand that he's very rich, because I cannot understand why you would have over 80% of your population below poverty line, and all these items I'm hearing will be about your purity. I tell you, eh? you are saying 80%, me I'm saying 95%. 95%. Somebody is saying 419 at his peak, Nigeria is in the wrong hands. No, no, I never see anything. He never promised you anything. He said this is his turn. Know this and have peace. Funny enough, all the debates where they call out for, we'll be saying go use commerce. I can't tell on Oh, this is what I'm going to be doing. That is what I'm going to be doing. He did not come outside. You cannot hold him anywhere. He did not promise you people anything. The only project that will be meaningful is how fair price will drop. Even a free visa to heaven will be rejected by many. Nobody wants to die. What is the impact of subsidy removal? My dear, if you ask me, who I go ask? Money no they ever be the full politicians. That won't consign them. Anything where they won't do, make them do them. Nothing will ever make me starve in this country. <laughs> the amount you mark for these projects is too small, considering the dwindling fortune of an era compared to American dollar. Imagine. Look at how money 50 billion naira for arms and ammunition. The same arms and ammunition that you know how many people, I mean, do you know how much was allocated to it last year? The one with them, they use not the key innocent civilians. Hmm. This is well. I'm minding my business because that is what my, I don't understand. My president, you are really doing well. Such money is too small. You should have made it 20 billion. It's not funny. It's indeed not funny. Criminal in power, unrepented and old criminal. Meanwhile, the one that stood me up was the one. The one that stood out for me was the one that said uh, he's going to that they're going to use fifteen billion naira to how my how do they even say it? I don't know what they say, but they are like they are going to be reinstating restating a uh, repentant terrorist into the society. Now dear now the same do me now the same touch me. I just sincerely hope say and I merely do wrongly because it is indeed not going to be funny. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come your way next time.